Okay guys, welcome back to episode 17. My god, it's we're getting we're getting quite deep into this playthrough. It's good. Um what's been happening? So I've been away for the past few days. Um so at at time of recording in in this week, uh, it's actually Wednesday already. I haven't done anything Sunday, Monday or Tuesday, so we're a bit behind. Um and we got to do some catching up. Let's have a quick look. Uh we did get a communique today. So, <clears throat> the Quest to Conquer Cancer event thing is over, uh, which is good. Happy days. Uh, well, not happy days that it's over, but, you know, happy days that it's uh, it's come to a, a, su a successful conclusion. Uh, we've been delivered some items here. Um, so, we've got ourselves a free Warframe slot, a weapon slot. We've got um, some shoulder guards and some... Uh, well, we've got an ephemera. And then we've got a, a, a shard of, of each type, which is very nice. So... Yeah, glad to see see the this all all went well. This is always good when games do this and developers do this when they support good causes. Very happy to see this. Um, so hopefully more stuff like that comes up in the future. Um, but yeah, we've now got kind of everything available to us again. It's a new week. We've got arch on hunts to do, um, and we've got other stuff to sort out, uh, including the warframe list. So the goal for the end of this episode is going to be to get the remaining twenty five warframes done. Uh, as I've probably mentioned in the previous episode, I can't quite remember. Um, but if we just take a quick look, uh, we're actually very close now. Um, so we just need Protea, we need Anaros, we need Hildren, Harrow, Gaia, and Ash. Um, some of the ones that I was previously planning on buying, I'm actually going to probably get, which is going to leave us with basically one frame which I'm going to end up buying, which is almost certainly going to be Ash. Um, and Ash is just a pain because you have to do, you know, um, what is it, uh, Railjack, and I just, I just don't want to touch it right now. Um, I was trying to farm Ash before, and to be honest, the, the time it took to get just, you know, one part was insane. Um, and to add to that, I tried then putting it on public to maybe see if we could get it done faster, but no one plays those missions um, to get the Ash parts. It just seems completely dead. Um, I might try it now that there's um, crossplay. Maybe more people are doing it now. We could try it on public just to get it, you know, sped through nice and quickly. But yeah, this is almost certainly going to be the frame that we end up buying out of all of these. I think we could probably get the rest. It just might take a bit of time. Um, yeah. So I'm I'm just gonna crack on at the start of this episode basically and, and get that done. I'll do the Archon hunt first to get that out of the way. Um just so we know we've got it, because we're getting another Crimson Shard uh, today. Which is good. Rhino bonus again. Uh, so we should easily be able to do this solo. Um I, I swear there hasn't been anything other than defense. There's always a defense mission. Why is there always a defense mission? Does there have to be a defense mission on every single one? That seems really bizarre. Ah, I don't know, whatever. It's fine. Um, so yeah, I'll go ahead and do that, guys. We'll see what reward we get at the end, and then I will, yeah, just get on with getting the remainder of these frames, and then we need to get the resources to get them. Fortunately, last episode, if you remember, we did a load of resource farming. We got ourselves up to 10 million credits, which is good. Um, and yeah, we should basically have everything we need already. All of our previous frames are ready to go. Let's get the Sands of Anaros quest ready. That's good. Um, I think that's about it. One thing as well I wanted to just put in at the beginning of this episode is that I've been running into a weird bug, um, doing Eidolon hunts. I don't know if it's, you know, been that recent. Let me just kind of demonstrate what I mean. Um, I'm probably not going to be able to recreate it. It, it happens so unoften. That, you know, I'm not really prepared for it when it does happen. Um, so it kind of goes to shit. But basically, what's been happening is that I've been getting stuck with my second or melee weapon out. Not being able to do anything, having then come back into my frame. Uh, I'm probably not going to be able to demonstrate this in, with my current build. But essentially what's been happening is I've been, you know, firing this and then trying to shoot my primary weapon as you would do in an Eidolon hunt. Uh, and yeah, I've just been getting stuck, and I'm not sure really what the cause is. I haven't figured it out. Um, maybe I'll try and recreate it and show you guys, but to be honest, I'm not, I'm not too fussed about it. It has cost me a few six caps, though, when I've been walking Eidolons and I just get stuck and I can't do anything, and the Eidolon just then walks back into the water. It's kind of annoying, um, but you know, it is what it is, and Warframe has its 
has a plethora of bugs in it, but we kind of just get on with it now. Um, and let the devs, the devs handle it over time, which they sometimes do. Some bugs have been in the game for absolutely ever, and people just learn to live with them. Um, but yeah, some are a bit more serious, and hopefully that one is considered a bit more serious and gets fixed soon. Uh, but yeah, like I said, guys, I'm going to get on with this Archon hunt. We'll see what reward we get, and then I'll get on with collecting the rest of these frames. So I'll see you in a bit. All right, guys, so farming up, but uh, just got a potential huge trade offer here. <coughs> so our Arcane Furies I've been kind of putting up as we go. They're 20 platinum each, uh, and this guy has just offered to buy all of them. We're at about 14. So 280 for 14 of these is actually pretty good. Uh, so let's go ahead. I've already ranked these up as much as I can to reduce the trade tax for this guy. There we go. Uh, hopefully I don't have to explain this to him. He can dissolve them. Yeah, nice. Lovely. So 280 platinum there for those, uh, which is really good. So if we actually take a look at Arcane Fury on the market right now, uh, for a maxed one, currently, it's selling for 360 platinum. So that's 21 Arcanes uh, for 360. So if we were selling, if it was 20 platinum per and we had a maxed one, to, uh, 21 Arcanes would be 440 platinum. Um, or would it? Would it be more than that? No, it would be 440 platinum. Um, so... Yeah, it's uh, that's that's a huge uh, bonus on you know selling it as a whole uh, that we just got there, which is really nice. Um, we're up to six hundred and thirty-one platinum, which is really good because that means that we can probably go ahead and buy two warframes for that, uh, which you know we don't need. So I've I've been as I've been farming here, I've been making note of the ones which I think are going to be a problem. Uh, <laughs> Ash is still a problem, and I don't want to have to farm him, but he is worth 375 platinum in the market, which is a problem. Uh, that's a lot of platinum. The other one is Nidus. Nidus is, you know, it's it's a bit essentially time-vaulted Nidus. You can't improve the speed at which you can farm the Nidus parts, so we'll probably buy him as well, and he's only 225 platinum. That's 150 platinum cheaper than Ash. Um, Harrow, we only need one part for, and Gaia, we only need a couple parts for as well, and then there's Hildren. Uh, now, Hildren, uh, we might well try and get because, you know, it's, at the end of the day, it's just a boss fight. It's a long-winded boss fight, but it's a boss fight nonetheless. So we're guaranteed a part each time. It's not going to be down to too much RNG. We'll just get it eventually. So I'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, Ash, I think I might legitimately just buy now so that I know I've got it. Uh, before I do that, though, I actually just want to get Banshee rolled in. So let's do that. Uh, then let's get Ash. Because stuff farming Ash. Okay. Uh, and then we will look to... That was correct, wasn't it? I think that was correct. Let me just check that I bought Ash there and not some, some random Ash set thing. Ash, zero. Good. Okay. <laughs> Got worried for a moment there. <laughs> so, yeah. That's uh, that's now done. Um, but I'm going to carry on farming, guys. Uh, I can tick Ash off the list now, in fact. Let's do that. Uh, reset. Uh, and then, yeah, I'll wait to see if we get any more trades. Obviously, I'm still farming Platinum as we go. I've got a few more things up for sale. Uh, let me go ahead, actually, and mark this off. Uh, for those of you who are interested now, by the way... I have made, in total, platinum to date, uh, 2,438. Um, so, yeah, very, very pleased with that. I still have 265 platinum listed sales, so stuff I can still sell, most of which is now in Arcanes, which is really good to see. Uh, momentum, Ice, Awakening, Warmth, Arachne, Rage. We've got a Rage up for 70 platinum on its on its own. Uh, so we'll wait for those to come in, and then we'll think about maybe buying Nidus as well, or Hildren. Uh, we will see. So I will, uh, I'll catch you guys in a second. All right, guys, so just finished our Eidolon hunt there. We now have a maxed Arcane Grace, which is fantastic, which means any further Graces that we get are now just platinum in our pocket. We don't have to worry about it anymore, which is brilliant. Uh, right now, 
a maxed arcane grace is looking it's getting on for 1k platinum now which is nice so it looks like for each individual one we get from now on it's an instant 40 platinum so that's really good um if we have a look at energize we unfortunately haven't had en some energize in a while uh, we're still on two out of the uh out of the six um so hopefully once that's done we can start really raking in the platinum um so arcane grace yeah i already said that arcane energize currently let's have a look yeah each arcane energize right now is selling for 100 platinum uh, a maxed one is now up at 2200 uh, so that's really really good we need to get there asap so we can start selling these off um, you know, I've even had it where I've picked up four of these in one night. Obviously, that's insane RNG. It's a 5% drop chance, but that's 400 platinum you make if you happen to get those odds. Like, even two is 200 platinum, isn't it? So, you know, that's the kind of uh, platinum you can make from Eidolon hunting if you get a lucky night. We've also got ourselves an Arcane Trickery here. I can now rank up and uh, add to my profile to sell. Let's do that. It's only 20 platinum, but, you know... We want to be selling the excess here because that's what we're farming for. Um, cool. So yeah, I just wanted to kind of show you guys that. Nothing much has changed since the last cut, unfortunately. Um, I'm just going to carry on farming up now uh, and I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys. So I've been farming for a while now and we're pretty much there. Um, I'm, I'm going to stop farming frames for a bit now. I think I just want to get more variety in this episode, <laughs> hopefully. Um... But yeah, we're still missing four. So we're still missing Harrow, Hildren, uh, Cora, and Nidus. Um, I honestly don't think I'm going to be farming those up now. Uh, I'm going to wait because I've been having a look at some of these frames. As you can see, I've actually started building a few of these already. So we've got Atlas going, Inaros is going, Mace is going, Nez is going, um, Vorban's going, Wukong is going, and then we've got Revenant who is is building uh, the full frame for him. So we're going to have a lot of frames available to us already. And looking at the resources we're going to need for some of the ones that I already have, let's, um, you know, let's take Caliban, for example. Whoop. They're not straightforward. So we're going to need, you know... 30 is that no 40 Narmer isoplasts for this some more breath of the eidolon mortis horn uh you know tralica the, the the stuff that we need for these next set of frames is going to be far more complex than the first set because in the first set of frames we collected we obviously went around the solar system all the resources were very straightforward because the frames that you get from all the bosses in the solar system are some of the earliest frames introduced into the game and a lot of these resources weren't around when those frames were introduced so you can count on them being you know fairly straightforward and easy to build um but practically all of the frames in this second set that we're building are yeah they're a bit more complex so we're gonna need to spend a lot of time uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna need to put together a list of resources that we're going to need similarly to what i did with the last one but this one's going to be a bit bigger because it's going to have to include you know uh stuff from mining and everything else uh, i'm probably going to just avoid you know the standard resources and just have a look at the weirdo ones that we're going to need um because otherwise it's just going to get ridiculously complex uh, and i'll spend a bit of time farming those up uh, in a separate session so yeah that's where we're at and I think the remainder of the frames, the ones we don't have, <coughs> excuse me, um, I'm probably just going to get those with platinum over time. Uh, we're at a point now, our arcanes have reached the point where we are getting a constant kind of conveyor belt in now of platinum. And hopefully, you know, when, when these guys reach maximum and we start getting those in we can just put them up for sale instantly if we get an energized that's an instant 100 pl 100 plat if we get a graze that's an instant 40 plat just for one arcane so that's great we need that um that's going to basically fuel our growth moving forward so that's important um and then i think that's that's essentially you know where we're at in the game we want to be collecting everything and getting it ranked up and in order to do that, we're probably going to need to get ourselves an affinity booster soon. Um, 
and yeah get to work um so the first frame we're going to rank up is going to be banshee we're then going to put her through the um through the helminth and get her her third ability her silence and then we can probably get to work on ranking up the other frames fairly easily i think it would still you know it would still work just fine doing that but we'll see we'll see what happens we'll have to play around with it a bit either way um so yeah that's where we're at just thought i'd give you guys an update um and i'm gonna try and yeah figure out some other stuff that we're gonna need i do have ribbon mods that i can unveil which i might well do this episode just to sort of add a bit of variety into it uh in fact i also need to have a look at what's going on here with endo and whatnot i have loads of sculptures here actually let's let's do this nice and then two anathas as well good so i have quite a lot of endo saved up actually so we can do something with that um but yeah that's kind of it guys to be honest uh we're just gonna have to keep plowing through i'm afraid it's gonna be a bit boring but at the end of the day that's all we can really do so i will uh i'll see you guys in a bit uh when we've made a bit of progress okay guys so the void trader is about to pop up here he is Let's see what he's got for us this week. Uh, probably worth it. Prisma Gorgon. What the hell is this? Okay, I guess we'll have to get that. That's kind of new. Uh, let's see what else. Some um, armor. Interesting. We could get that. Not much else, to be honest. So I think we'll try and get the Prisma weapons. Um, always good to pick those up when they come around. Uh, and then we'll see if we can get Charged Shell and maybe Primed Chilling Grasp as well. And also this. Probably going to be worth it. Nice. Well, we're going to need to get some more ducats. I haven't actually done any relic farming since last time. So as you can see, we don't actually have any... Any duplicates we can really get rid of here, or that I want to get rid of. So we're going to have to do some relic farming, so maybe that's what we'll do now. Uh, da -da -da -da. Our frames are still being made. I think once the current frames are made, I am just going to go ahead and start ranking them up. This is going to be the Void Trader, right? Yeah. Uh, so let's go ahead and just take a look at that quickly. Yeah, so as you can see, we're going to have a load of frames to get through soon, which is going to be nice. Uh, hopefully we get a daily login reward that is a affinity booster, and then we can get that done nice and quickly. Uh, what else did I want? I wanted... Oh yeah, I was going to make some of these. Cool, alright, so I'll get on guys, do a bit of relic farming, see what we can get. Uh, we can use that as well to farm some platinum before, just in between night cycles, uh, and then yeah. We'll go from there. Okay, guys. So I didn't manage to get much relic farming done, unfortunately. Um, yeah, got kind of sidetracked uh, doing other things. So we haven't really got very far so so far this week. Um, Barrow is still here, but I, I don't think I'm going to have enough time to farm up the stuff we want. I might have a quick look um, tomorrow morning. It's currently Saturday. So, you know, we've got a bit of time tomorrow morning before he goes. So maybe we'll take a quick look and see if we can get anything, uh, if there's anything in particular that we want. Uh, but otherwise, we'll probably just leave it alone. Uh, but in the meantime, I thought I'd just show you how I'm going to be farming up frames. I've already done two. Um, and yeah, now I think we're ready to get on with it. Uh, and I want to get all of it done. All the ones we've done so far, I want to get them out of the way by the end of this episode, basically. So everything in here, we're going to have ranked up by the end of this episode. And I want to show you guys how we're going to do that. Uh, it's a commonly known tactic. Um, so... I've already subsumed um, Banshee's Silence. It's right here. Uh, and we obviously have the, the uh, Savage Silence uh, Augment already. So we're going to throw that on every single frame we get. So if we go ahead and let's say... Uh, we, do, we can take any of these. It doesn't matter at all. Uh, we'll take Excalibur. And then... Uh, we're already on the leveling loadout. Uh, so we'll go ahead and throw on Excalibur. So for Excalibur, we can go ahead and throw on Steel Charge. 
we want a duration not the aura mod duration but just duration in general prime continuity always a good place to start and then to begin with i always like to go stretch as well uh everything else is kind of just you know neither here nor there uh we'll try and go more duration i guess so alka message you can see here um if we go ahead and head over to our helminth now uh, and then we want to infuse silence on our first ability. So config A. Very close to leveling up there. Uh, we'll level up once we uh, put this guy through the grinder. Okay. And if we head back to our arsenal. Uh, you can see, whoops. You can see on our first ability here, silence, uh, duration 17.9, radius 14.5. We want to keep it around that uh, radius and duration. Uh, and then on my melee here, I'm running Guandao Prime because this is going to stack with Savage Silence, which we didn't actually put on because I'm an idiot and I forgot. Uh, um, let me go ahead and also throw on uh, Fury and Strike. Uh, and then I guess we'll take off uh, those two for now. Let's go Savage Silence. And then we'll just put on Alga Message. Although I think the range is going to be better. So maybe we go range first. Alga Reach. Yeah, Alga Reach. That's probably going to be better at this point, I think. 13 meters should be fine. So... Now that we got that, I'm actually going to go ahead now, uh, because I'm going to do pretty much all of this tomorrow. We'll buy ourselves a three-day affinity booster. Happy days. And then we'll go ahead, head over to Sedna Adaro. And if we get lucky, and I say if we get lucky because, you know, remember, it's only rank one we've got our silence at. It will rank up as we go, but it's pretty tricky to get this max ranked in one go. Uh, either way, though, should be fairly quick. We'll, we'll see how long it takes us with this. So with the low range, unfortunately, we do get spotted quite quickly. Uh, one of the best ways to do this is to just make sure that you get the uh, the Exilus units, or Eximus units, sorry. They have the most XP. If you can get them on your 5 times affinity booster, which you can see in the top there, the stealth booster, you are golden. But, you know, we're already doing pretty well here. And if you get a Kavat Affinity Booster, this goes so fast, it's ridiculous. Uh, we missed a few back here, it seems. <laughs> Just one, standard. Where are these ones going to be then? Definitely not 600 meters ahead. Too slow. The important thing is to keep moving. If you move out of range of them and then back in, they get the same effect again. So, you know, just keep moving. There we go, Eximus unit. And Affinity Booster. This one's going to be nice and easy. In fact, that's probably close to it now. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that's it. There you go, max rank. And we can get out. So two and a half minutes there to rank up an entire frame. Very easy, and it's going to be a great way for us to get some XP. So we can do some serious ranking up now, which is going to be nice. So yeah. I'm probably just going to go ahead, guys. Get all of these ones ranked up that we, uh, we've we currently got available to us. And the ones that are going to be done tomorrow. Um, and yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see how much XP we have. And then we'll see kind of what level it will take us to. Obviously, it's not going to get us that high. Um, in fact, we can probably find out how high it's going to take us. Bear with me one moment. So, Warframe, Companions, and Arc Wings give 200 mastery points for each rank for a maximum of 6,000 MR points at rank 30. So, if we have... Let's see, we've done Excalibur now, so... We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. We have 25. Of course we have 25. Um, so 25 times 6 is going to be 150k. So from 14, that should easily get us over to uh, rank 16. Don't think it'll quite get us to rank 17, but we'll see. Um, you know, I've only done three frames and we're nearly at rank 15, so that's always good. Um, let me just quickly show you as well kind of how this works. Uh, so this is my uh, my Grandal build. Bit of range on there, and everything else is geared just towards damage. So Sacrificial Steel for crit chance gets it over the 100%. Blood Rush, all that good stuff. And then for the Nariman, we get... Uh, where is it? Hmm? Affinity spike. Kills from melee attacks grant 45% more melee affinity, uh, which does actually contribute more towards the frame. So this is what we're using, and it also prevents our combo counter from uh, resetting, which is always nice. Um, so that's basically what we're doing. So I'm going to keep doing it, guys, until we're all finished up. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll, we'll do a quick recap. All right, guys, so I just started leveling up again. Uh, it's... Sunday now, um, and Sod's Law, there's an invasion on Adaro, and it's now a corpus mission, um, <laughs> I cannot believe it, just as we got this bloody inf affinity booster as well, it's so sad, um, I mean, we could try Saturn, I guess, and see if it's much worse, so Telesto, I'll try Telesto, see how much worse it is, and then if it's if it's that much worse, then we'll try the Corpus mission and see. But it's just going to take a bit longer, I guess. I don't know. Oh, frustrating. Anyway, I'll see you guys in a bit. <laughs> All right, guys. So I think I'm probably going to have to stop. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to stop farming for a bit now, mainly because my helmet got to the point where yeah, it was uh, it cost me a fair few resources to to get what we needed to infuse Banshee's ability. But we've got a decent stretch in. If we take a look here, uh, you can see we have all the way down to Excalibur now, and we've already done Ash and Banshee. So yeah, we're we're getting we're getting through it. You can see we're also into uh, the MR15 region now. Uh, if we just take a look. Um, we've got 595,000. I think in about five, four or five more frames, we'll then be at this enough, a high enough level to get to MR16 after that. So that'll be good. I'm not going to do these um, these rank ups until we have done all of them. I've also bagged ourselves a Kuva Lich, uh, which happened to have a Kuva Nucor, and I was running something with Toxin at the time, so that was really nice. Um, it's only 29%, which is absolutely garbage, but, you know... At least we've got one. Um, so yeah, I'll get on with this. And I'll probably cut you guys in once we kill it. Do We'll do the boss fight on camera just to see how it goes. And then, yeah, that'll be uh, that'll be it, guys. Uh, I, I'm not going to get much into this episode, I'm not going to lie. Um, it's going to be very short. I haven't had the time this week. I've been on holiday and away. I haven't been at my computer that much. So yeah, not much going on with, uh, 
with Warframe this week. Uh, but there is, actually, before I forget. It's a new week, so we've got an Archon Hunt. We can try and do that this episode. Um, there's also some alerts here for uh, for Formers, three former, so we're definitely doing that. A Umbral Former, definitely doing that. Grenier, that's an Aura Former, and then a Stance Former, so... You know, we definitely want to be getting through those as well. Um, and then I think, yeah, that'll probably be the end of the episode at that point. Um, yeah. Oh, I did also unveil a Riven. A Rifle Riven. It wasn't anything special, mind you, but just so you guys are aware. Um, Volcar. We've got the Volcar. So, that's not terrible. Um, you know... Volcar Wraith, we can definitely uh, we can definitely try for a nice roll on that maybe because the Volcar Wraith, as far as I'm aware, has a really really poor Riven disposition, meaning good. <laughs> uh, so maybe we will try for something uh, on that front. It's a, it's a sniper, so you know we'll definitely be keeping that one. Um, I, I think that's about it, really, though. I'm probably going to re-roll some of these. I'll keep the shotgun one. We'll unveil that. But, yeah, I'll re-roll a few of these into uh, to see if we can get some more rifle ribbons. Uh, we've got three Zor ribbons, which we're just not going to use, really, anymore. So, yeah, we'll do that uh, and see what we get. And there's the one shot. The, f the fast fire rate does help there a bit. That took bloody ages to get the one shot, though. Like, I think I was in here, yeah, 15 minutes. Oh, my God. But, you know, as Chroma, you can pretty much live through anything, so whatever. Uh, so let's head to the extraction and see what we got. Not a Tau Forge and another Anaza. I, I literally have not got a single Uncommon reward from this. I don't know what is going on, but... That's fine. Uh, we'll see about using that somewhere. Okay, so the other thing I wanted to do just before we end the episode, let me just check actually real quick that my Cycron is built correctly. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so uh, the one thing uh, I want to do now is just finish up this, uh, this Lich. I haven't actually started yet, but we should be able to do it fairly quickly now with our current build. So I'm going to go ahead and start this off, and I'll catch you guys when we do the final kill. Alright guys, so I don't think I'm going to be able to get this in this episode, unfortunately. Uh, this Lich has been a pain in the ass, and yeah, he spawned just as I was about to get my third Requiem, and of course I could have quit, but I was up to my last, uh, yeah, my last Requiem mod that we had, um, and I tried it, and it wasn't the one, so we have to buy the one, which we don't have, which was Zarta. Um, and then now we can hopefully capture him next time, but yeah, we've got to make him angry again, and oh my god, it's just been a nightmare. Uh, I can show you the, uh, the progression even. There you go, so we got the first one in one, happy days, uh, and then we found out it was, uh, Kra. Kra wasn't in the middle here, so yeah, it's, it's just been, uh, it's been a nightmare. So we're just gonna buy Zarta, because I don't want to waste time farming it can barely see what's going on right now. Uh, there we go. Yeah, so yeah, I'm going to do this, guys, and then... Yeah, this will probably be the end of the episode here, so... I'll just go ahead and equip that. And just kind of run through where we are. Apologies that we haven't managed to get much done this week. I really haven't uh, been playing on Warframe that much at all. Uh, I've actually been playing a bit of Civ this week as well. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead. Uh, TY. Um, Parazon. And then Zata in the middle. Cool. So yeah. <laughs> I'll go ahead and do this off camera, guys. I think in terms of the frames, we're... Where we were before, I'm still waiting for some of the helmet stuff to cool down. Obviously, I don't want to waste any more resources. Um, once I get this Kuva Nukor, I'm going to try and make use of the fact that we do have that affinity booster, which we bought yesterday. Um, and yeah, try and get that maxed fairly fast. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. See you later, guys.